Hello, and welcome back to my Q&A video series about the Pandas library in Python. And the question for today is, how do I avoid a setting with copy warning in Pandas? Okay, so if you've been using Pandas for a little while, you've probably gotten this warning at some point. And the proper response to the warning is to figure out how to deal with it and figure out what Pandas is asking you to do. But uh, the warning's a bit complicated to understand, so many people just turn it off instead. Um, and that's not a good practice unless you are uh, really sure of what you are doing, okay? So we're gonna look at two scenarios in which this warning arises. Uh, and we're going to figure out how to address it, okay? So uh, let's get our example data set for today. So uh, import pandas as pd. And um, we're going to say movies equals pd.read csv um, bit.ly slash imdb ratings. And this is a data set of movies from the uh, Internet Movie Database. So movies.head, and here are our first five rows. Okay, so we're gonna focus on the content rating column right here, and uh, let's look for missing values, okay? So movies.contentrating dot is null dot sum, okay? So we're just counting how many missing values there are. Okay, and there are three. Now, uh, let's take a look at these three uh, real quickly. So movies, and we'll say bracket movies dot content rating dot is null. So this part inside the bracket is generating a Boolean series that we're passing to the data frame, and it will display those three movies. Um, now we see the NAN in the content rating uh, column, and that is the special value that means missing. All right, now um, let's, uh, let's take a look at uh, the content rating, all the unique values. So movies.contentrating.valuecounts uh, is one way, okay? And uh, we see this here, and uh, we decide um, for the purpose of this video that uh, not rated um, these 65 movies, this should be represented as a missing value, okay? Now, sometimes in data sets, there is a flag that means missing, and it's best to replace those values with the NAN we saw here so that we can take advantage of the missing value functionality, okay? So our first step here is going to be to find the relevant movies. So uh, we're gonna say um, movies dot, uh, actually movies bracket, movies dot content rating equals equals not rated, okay? So if we run that, we'll find all the movies with the not rated content rating, okay? Then the second step is to say, well, that is the series I want to overwrite with uh, NAN. So let's select it. So we'll say dot content rating. And now we've just got that series. And finally, we want to overwrite it with NAN. Now, how do we do that? Well, um, the NAN is not a string. It's a special value from the NumPy library. So we're going to actually say import uh, numpy as np, and then we will be able to overwrite these not rated values with np dot nan. Okay, so we're overwriting all these values with not a number. Okay, run it, and we get our warning. Okay, setting with copy warning. A value is trying to be set on a copy of a slice from a data frame. Um, that is not crystal clear to most people. Uh, you can read this link and read the documentation and that may not be crystal clear 
either. So I'm, I'm gonna show you how to fix this, then I'm going to explain why this happened, okay? So first, let's take a look and see if it worked. So, um, cause it's just a warning, it is not an error, it's just a warning. So we're gonna say movies.contentrating.isNull.sum, okay? And it's still three, if it had worked, it would be 68 because these 65 would have been added. So we know it didn't work, okay? So here is the solution to getting this line of code to work. And I'm just actually gonna copy it and you'll see the simple modification I make. We are instead actually gonna use what it uh, suggested here. Try using dot loc, okay? So we're gonna change this to movies.loc and uh, we're gonna say comma content rating and delete this end part, okay? And run it and you'll see that it did not throw a warning. Now, how does .loc work? I've got a video about it, but just uh, briefly, um, we the, the format of .loc is specify which rows, so these are the rows I want, and then specify which columns I want. And that's the column, okay? So let's, let's do check that this worked, and actually I'll just rerun this line of code, and you'll see it's now 68, uh, so it did work. Now, what exactly is going on here? Um, the clearest explanation I found is from uh, Tom Augsburger, in his um, uh, Modern Pandas series, and this is part one, and I'll link to it in the description below, but let me summarize it for you, okay? And he's got this section setting with copy that you can read if you're interested. But here is the summary, okay? This line of code right here, the one that threw the warning, is actually two operations. So this part is known as a get item. Okay, that's the first operation. This part, with a reference to whatever was um, produced by the first part, is a set item. So we've got a get item and a set item. Okay, here's the problem. Pandas can't guarantee whether the get item, the first part, returned a view or a copy of the data. If it returned a view of the data, this would affect the data frame. The set item would affect the data frame. But if it returned a copy, it still would modify something. It would be modifying the copy, but the copy just gets discarded and, it, and thus the original data frame does not get modified. So again, pandas does not know if this resulted in a view or a copy, so it's trying to warn you that it's not sure what has happened, okay? Now, loc solves this by turning it from two operations into a single set item operation, okay? That's why this does not throw the air. So the summary here is if you are trying to select rows and columns in the same line of code, use a dot loc, um, and that will uh, work better with pandas, okay? So that is the first example of the setting with copy warning. Let's, uh, let's go into the second example. Okay, so we're gonna pretend here that uh, we only want to focus on movies with a very high star rating, okay, uh, for the moment. So uh, let's create a separate data frame called Top Movies, and we're gonna select out movies.loc. We're gonna say we want all the movies with star rating greater than or equal to nine, and then we want all columns, okay? So I'm selecting out uh, what we'll see is actually just four movies. So this is the entire top movies data frame, okay? So presumably we'll pull these out. We were gonna do some analysis on this and we didn't wanna constantly be uh, telling a condition. We just want to 
uh, only look at those four movies. Okay, so uh, we're going to pretend that we look at this and we notice that the duration for the Shawshank Redemption is incorrect. Okay, we notice that and we want to fix it. So we're going to say top movies dot loc because we've learned our lesson about using dot loc. Um, I want row zero and I want the duration series. Okay, so it's selecting this cell with dot loc, and I'm going to say the proper duration is 150. So we run it and we get the same setting with copy warning. And this is confusing because its suggestion is to use loc, and we just used loc here, we just used loc here, so we have no idea what is going on, okay? So what, uh, before I tell you what the problem is, let's check if it worked, okay? So let's look at top movies. And it did actually modify top movies. Okay, so this is one reason why it's not a good idea to turn these warnings off because sometimes the warnings mean it didn't work and sometimes the warnings mean, well, I'm gonna warn you, but it still worked, okay? So you need to be able to see the warning so you can check if your code worked, okay? Now, what was the problem? Why did this generate a warning? Well, Pandas actually isn't sure whether top movies is a view or a copy of movies, okay? It's not sure if it's a reference to the original movies data frame or it's a copy. And so it's trying to warn you, are you modifying one thing, top movies, or are you modifying two things, okay? So what is the solution? The solution is, and I'm just gonna copy uh, this line of code up here. The problem actually came here, not the line of code we wrote, okay? The problem was this line of code. Anytime you are trying to create a data frame copy, you should explicitly use the dot copy method and then pandas can be sure it is a copy and thus it is never confused about is top movies a copy or a view of four rows from movies. It is now sure that it is a copy. At this point, and I'll just uh, copy this line of code, at this point, we can now use the line of code right here to edit top movies, and it will not throw a warning, and um, you will see it has, um, uh, it has edited top movies, and by the way, um, movies.head, it did not edit the duration here, okay? Uh, so that's actually it for today. No bonus for today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you have a question from today or another pandas question, let me know in the comments section below. I love to hear from you. But that's it. So I uh, hope to see you again soon.